Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now this car had a timing chain failure. I fixed it, but I'm curious about the compression readings. Uh, in the last video, this car had a snap chain. Actually, both chain uh, have failed. And uh, a few rocker arms on cylinder two and three. So what I decided to do, it was an experiment. I decided to replace only the camshafts, they were bent, and uh, the faulty rocker arms and the lifters. And uh, what do you know? The car started up. It runs good after a few days, but I'm curious about the compression readings. I promised you two videos ago that I am going to do a video about the compression. I have nothing to lose because I have a completely good refurbished cylinder head in my garage. So if it's the case, it will take me no time to remove the cylinder head, put a new gasket, bolts, and then everything is sorted. Some of you guys also mentioned that this is not possible. It must be something wrong with this car. There is no way if the timing chain fails, you just replace that and everything uh, is fine. So let's find out together. So I hooked up my gauge. As you can see, I removed all the plugs. Thank God they, they came out good. So I am going to do a compression test. I will put the camera on the stand and uh, one by one I will put the, the gauge, crank the car and let's find out how much compression, is it equal on all four cylinders and uh, yeah, let's gain some experience, shall we? For the test, I just want to show you the cylinder head gasket is the original, so I don't want to be accused that I replaced it. Have a look where the dots are, the notches, it's rusty. I don't know if it's visible, but trust me, look, all the rust around the, the notches, it's rusty. So yeah, this is definitely, have a look down there. This is definitely the original one. So yeah. For the validity of the test, I just wanted to, to show you that. So now I'm going to put the camera in this position and live. I'm not going to stop it. I'm not going to cut anything. It will be live one by one by one. So from now on, it's live. I'm not going to cut anything. So bear with me. Be patient because I have to remove the adapter and move it to the next cylinder and the next one and the next one. So this will take a while, but from now on it's live. So I don't want to be accused again for, you know, whatever. So be patient and observe. Yeah, you can crank it. Showtime. You okay? 21, 2, 3 and a half, 23, 24. Twenty three and a half. Okay, so this is cylinder number one. Now I am going to remove the adapter live. So you guys there, professionals, to be satisfied. Let me just find my key. So this will be <clears throat> cylinder number two. 
this is the plug let's insert the adapter start this with hand once we make, make sure that it's good we can use the impact just to speed up the process perfect okay so my gauge is a bit tricky i have some problems with this release uh, button hopefully it will okay so Let me show you, it's number two. So that's number one. This is number two, okay? So let me position the camera. Yeah, good to go. Yeah. 23 23 not bad not bad and let's not forget this was So on number two and number three, we have the, the failed rockers. Keep that in mind. Yep. Let's move on to cylinder number three. Oh, sorry, the camera is pointing to the wrong direction. This is what happening when I'm not editing out anything, guys. So be patient. It's an experiment. Let make, let's make it valid. Live. So, number three. Engine is quite hot. Okay, so we are moving our way towards the back of the engine, yeah, it's in, so I'm gonna use the impact slowly and carefully, not to do any damage, yep. Yeah. connect my gauge yeah and let me show you that it is indeed number three you see that is the last one four this is three and we have one and two already finished so we are at number three let me set the camera again so this is connected this is zeroed good to go come on 23 yep. Yep. 23 what do you reckon 23 and a little bit probably more 23 and a half yep stay there again let's not forget 
from these two middle cylinders, I've collected this, uh, you know, rubbish, the rocker arms. So, yeah. absolutely no editing guys you have to bear with me or i don't know just push the video forward but i am not gonna interrupt anything i want to do it in one shot yeah perfect i'm gonna sort this out later so now this one again let's remove plug number four Again, I already removed all the plugs, so these are not the live uh, removals. I use my impact gun method as usually. It worked, as you can see, no problem. I have no broken plugs. So yeah, everything good on, on that, si that side as well. So let's see. Last one, number four, it's going in easily, so I can use my impact just, no force, just, just, just to speed up the process, but I would prefer this one if I was to do it in peace and relaxed uh, method, no, not method, relaxed pace. Okay. Yeah, it's fully on. Let's release this. My butt. Okay. Let me see if the camera is. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we can go ahead. Yeah. Twenty three exactly. 21, 22, 2, and 23. So, you decide. I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know. They are equal within 10%, 5-10%. I think, number one, I have to go back, watch the video, and note them down, and watch the, the footage. But I think... Uh, they are very close, 23, 20, 23 and a half. One was just 23, so I don't know. I, I think it's, it's a pretty consistent result, considering the fact that this was in the engine. And uh, yeah, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Uh, obvious, honestly, I, I thought it's gonna be worse. The car is running spot on, spot on no no issues at all where i have issues i think the turbo because it's a neglected engine i kind of hear a turbo it, it's starting to to produce a, a messy sound so <clears throat> i think next week i will uh, put a new cartridge in just to be on the safe side but at the moment the car is running good i'm more than happy i'm using it for commute i like to have a new car yeah to go to work so more than happy i'm happy with this comment below but please let's keep everything professional no you know nasty words that i'm stupid or i should know better because uh, yeah i'm not working for anybody <laughs> i'm doing it for my own entertainment it's my car i have no obligation towards any client so let's let's keep this in mind i'm a very polite guy and uh, I, I'm enjoying doing this, but let's keep it professional. Let's, let's be all professionals and uh, we can carry on the good work. So these are the results. I let you decide what do you reckon. Uh, but yeah, again, snap timing chain, replace only the camshafts 
and a few rocker arms. Everything went everything went back together, and uh, yeah, this is this is the result. Could be better. I don't know. Maybe, uh, but I, I will keep it as it is. I'm not gonna bother removing the cylinder head and and replace the the valves or tackle any kind of job. I, I will not because uh, I I'm pretty sure. A higher, higher mileage car will have less compression than this without any timing chain failure to start with and it will still run good so more than happy more than happy a turbo i think it will be on the table but apart from that i'm, I'm happy with the results so i am going to end this video and uh, yeah see you at the next one god bless you all take care